Hi, welcome back to Deep Dive. Well, today we're going to look at my 20 motorbikes and the 10 cars in my compact collection. And it's quite a lot to do, but like the TV movie collection, I'm not as enthused about some cars or bikes for certain reasons in these garages. I want to go through a little bit quicker. That said, we have photos of the real cars, we have a few crew colour hexes and a lot of information packed in. So let's see, can I do 30 vehicles in 10 minutes? Let's go. Kicking off with the Armstrong MT350, which is what the Manchester Scout is based on. Fantastic to drive in the game, great wheelies, great fun. But I have an acid lab and I drive that Manchester every few days. I didn't need this one. Moving on to the BF400 based on the KTM 450 Rally. I couldn't match the livery of course, I just did another one. This is a great off-road bike, great to use in races, absolutely a keeper. Oh, the Faggio mod from back in, I think it's the 60s, the Vespa of course, covered in mirrors and lights. Got a picture there of a real one, had to have the Union Jack on the back. So much fun, but it's gone now, it was just there for the collection. I'm not one of those people who loves to ride a Faggio through a crowded map of people with armoured vehicles. On now then to the Suzuki Hayabusa 1300R, or the Hakachu in game. You know, it's not very expensive and it's a really nice riding motorbike and I think it looks good in a bike collection, so I still have this bike. Of course the next one, of course I have this one. This has been my favourite bike for so many years. I used to use it for each time trial. It is of course the Hakachu Drag, based on a drag version of the Hayabusa. Not something I'll ever sell, but it did fall out of regular use for time trials when I got the electric bike, the Livewire, the Power Surgeon game, just because that was easy to do time trials with. Moving on now to the Zombie Bobber based on Harley Davidson Custom Bobber. This is really nice to ride and I don't think it would be right in GTA to have even just a tiny bike collection without at least having one or two of these chopper type bikes in there and this is definitely one I've decided to hold on to. The next bike, the Hexa, is based on the WCC CFL and again it's a very cool chopper bike. I have sold it now, it's an incredible handling bike but it's not very fast and it's really only paint and wheels type bike anyway. This next bike is very much a display piece only, I think. The Western Zombie Chopper, which is based on XR Cycles Hot Rod bike, looks fantastic. That's why you keep it. In the game, though, it doesn't drive anything like it as nice as the Zombie Bobber does, and the handling is very suspect on it. But a lot of customization for the cache. The Avaris, which is based on the T Rex for real, albeit not having such long front forks. Uh, it's easy to paint like the T-Rex, which is great, and actually it rides pretty well. And as I said, I want to have some form of chopper collection, so this one I have kept. I think the next bike only comes up in Halloween. It's a super cool John Holt skeleton bike, or the Sanctus. Now, I think there are other bike influences in there as well from a different custom bike, but whatever, it looks great. I haven't painted it in chrome because the chrome just picks up all the colours of the workshop and looks weird so I've actually just painted it in a silver or a metal colour I think so it looks better for the garage tour. I got mine for free a couple of years ago and I don't think I'd be spending two million dollars on it but it is a nice to have I am keeping it. I found a video showing you what all the Ducatis in the game actually were and uh, I'll link it below if I can, it was the inspiration for this collection. Starting off with the Nemesis, which I think you can just pick up from the street, being the Hyper Motard 950. Came out looking pretty good. That said, it doesn't make a great noise, it's merely okay to drive, and I've got rid of it. Although I've put 1048 for this next one, I think I must have meant 1098. The picture of the bike I wanted has now gone from the internet, so I found something similar. Anyway, we all love the Batty 801, fantastic riding motorbike. I bought it early on to do time trials, so this one is fully upgraded. I've got no intention of getting rid of it. And nor will I get rid of the next one, the Diabolus Custom, based on the DFL Dragster. What a cool looking bike that is in real life, and how cool and really detailed and close it's come out in the game. I think it's well worth the, I think it's about a quarter of a million upgrade price and definitely something I am holding on to. I bought or stole a standard Matty 801 just for this collection. 
it's the 848 Evo Corsa. I think it looks really good, it looks great sitting there, but at the end of the day I have a different 801, the RR, so I got rid of that one. Now the next bike's a good quarter of a million. I do think it's worth it. It drives very well, it's a really good sort of scramble type bike and it has a lot of customization. so if you have the collection to support this bike you may well want it. It's discontinued but when it pops back it would be worth grabbing. I've restricted myself to just 10 bikes in the clubhouse plus odd ones like the Shitaro in the movie collection so I ultimately had no room and that's why it's gone. The similar story with this next bike, the Ruffian. It's discontinued but you can probably pick them up from the street and it makes a quite a reasonable copy of the Ducati Monster. Uh, I lost the picture of the one that I made so there's a blue one there instead. And yes if you have the collection that supports this bike then very much recommend that you find one. If you can't decide how to customise your bike the next one is perfect because its performance parts and wheels is all you can do. It comes with a carbon body which looks fairly matte so I decided to make mine the 1199 Pagnale R Superleggera which is actually an invite only to purchase very limited edition of the bike but in the game it's just an okay bike it's not particularly vast it handles okay and at least it's still available for your Ducati collection Moving on now then to the Vortex. It's based on the Hertramp Racing Pagnale Street Fighter. Street Fighter type bikes to me look pretty cool and if you look you can make quite a good copy of this bike. It holds a special place in my heart because I started the game with the Criminal Enterprise pack which included this. I upgraded it all the way and used it as my only decent bike for probably over a year. So you can imagine I'm keeping this one. I have nothing but words of vitriol really for this. I mean it looks great doesn't it? Electro based on another Street Fighter Ducati. But it's slow, it has some pointless curves that hardly works, there's not a lot of customization, and it's three quarters of a million. And I bought the wretched thing at full price to finish this collection, which is a great shame. Of course it got sold, and then I won another one on the wheel, and I just sold it straight back for zero. Before we leave the garage, we'll just pause here. The last bike is not mine, it's the Agency Reaver, but just in case you were wondering, it's based on a real bike, the Arch 143. That looks super cool as well. Moving on to the compacts, we start with the Blister Compact, the Civic CRX. I just called mine a custom one, I didn't base it on anything specific. Fun little car to drive with tons of lift off oversteer, but I mean the wheels are too far in board and it really just does nothing for me, I just didn't want it anymore, so it's gone. You see the second Fiat 500 by Road Race Motorsports that I've featured, because of course it looks so close to what the Brioso RA looks like in game. Now fun driving, if a little twitchy compacting in the game, I really like having it around, I'm certainly not selling this. They've sold and removed the picture of the one that I base mine on, which is an electric blue with white wheels, but here's a photo of one with blue wheels and a hex to make electric blue. Looks great of course, and it even drives okay for what it is, but you can grab one any time from the street, so I've sold mine. If I were to guess what the FN2 Civic Type R handled like, I'd probably guess high grip levels and a little bit of uh, tail out oversteer if you really pushed it and uh, eased off a bit and that's actually what this car does. The blister which is great and I've based mine on this lightly customised version as you can see. But ultimately in the game at least it doesn't do a lot for me so this one has had to go. Other than looking like a boy racer car I would love one of these in real life, the FK8 Civic Type are, but I really went with the wings and splitters theme by adding the BM spec body kit as seen on the white one to this for the garage tour. I don't drive it a lot in the game because there's a lot of front wheels spinning but it is a great platform for so many things. I just put John Cena's car on it on a recent display. I did that pace car which I think came out really well so absolutely something I want to own in the game but I want to drive it in real life more than the game. Although you can build the Ishii Sport as other wide arch minis, I think Rockstar based it on the Liberty Walk body kit one and that's what I built this time. Looks rather good, drives well and I'm holding on to it. I built my Civic Coupe or Kanjo SJ as a generic sort of track day vehicle. There are a couple of videos of that I'll try to link below. But now I built it as the Craft A Racing Honda Civic Coupe for which there's a very recent video on my channel and that's the photo I've chosen to include so of course it's been kept. I based my Penumbra on this particular customised Eclipse GS and I think it came out really well, the colour of the wheels, it all looks really really good. 
but I sold it anyway because you can pick one up any time from the street and I wanted the space. Like the Kanjo SJ, I went my own way with the Hyundai Coupe or the Prairie and there's a video below, I made up this customised one and I'm really pleased with it. I can't find any appropriate photo so I've just put a photo of a different customised one in. Anyway, I can get one any time off the street so I got rid of this one. Well, for my uh, Corsa, the Asbo, I went for what in the UK we might call a boy racer car, but in this case my character's female, so I put a bit of pink, maybe girl racer, is that politically correct? I hope so. You can make the S1600, I think it is, a, a serious little junior rally car, I've done that before, and otherwise I'm pretty much out of things I can do with this car. The photo is of something really stupidly customised, of course, and uh, I think mine looks better than that. But I don't really like it, and I know I paid for it, but that one is gone as well. Well, you know, I can talk till the cows come home, but I managed there all 30 vehicles in 10 and a half minutes, having promised 10, and I think that's pretty good. So that deserves a like, doesn't it, if nothing else? Also, of course, a like if you enjoyed it, a comment if you want to say anything about any of the vehicles here, especially if I got something wrong, that would be great. And if you like real cars in GTA, then please don't hesitate to subscribe. I think there's only about five weeks now of deep dives left. We have worked our way through nearly all of my 300 car garages and the movie selection, which is pretty cool. The next three weeks will be the three muscle car garages, and I'm certainly not going to attempt to squeeze those up altogether, because of course I love the muscle cars and I'm enthused about those collections. So we want to spend our time with them. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.